every night, I dream the same dream. Nightmare begins. I did what I had to do. To protect our world. You cannot control everything, Strange. You opened the doorway between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. Things just got out of hand. You break the rules. Look out! To become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. Between my waking life and dreams, day and night, it must be very difficult. The voices in my mind, in your head. There's chaos in you. Embrace it. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Welcome to Staying Awake. I'm losing it. We'll catch you on. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between my eyes and dreams. dreams. <gasps> Thank you. Lost the contact lens. Hope you find it. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? It must be very difficult. The voice is in your head. Shut up! There's chaos in you. Embrace the chaos. dreamt of a better world. That's why he saved me. You can go to any timeline, any universe. Why fight to save this one? What could be greater than a king? A hero. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> If 
we don't stand up, no one will. Come with us. It's a glorious world out there. Waiting for you. Are you in? What's up, you two? I'm back to the studio. So the Super Bowl came and went last night. Commercials came and went yesterday. Good Super Bowl show. A lot of racists were in their feelings about it. But also on Twitter, I've seen a lot of people. It actually enjoyed the halftime show. So that's a plus. But one of the good things that came out of it was the trailer for Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. And DC, they didn't show anything because a couple of days ago, they've already dropped their you know, commercial, their one minute commercial for Black Adam, Flash, Aquaman, and uh, I'm missing one guy, whatever. Uh, like that's a Black Adam, Flash, Aquaman. I'm, I'm missing somebody. Oh, Batman. I forgot. Batman comes out next month. My bad, guys. So, Multiverse of Madness is what had me hyped, though. We're going to talk about multi Multiverse of Madness first. Then we're going to talk about the other superhero trailers that then came out in the past week. But before we do that, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family love gaming, comics, and anime. So, let's get into Multiverse of Madness. So, we start off Doctor Strange talking about nightmares. And the funny thing about this trailer was when he sat there and said, I've been having the same dream over and over and over for the past couple of nights. And the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, you too? Shit, same same here, fam. For the past couple of months, I've been having the same fucking dream. And it's not a good dream either, y'all. So I don't want to get into it. But he's talking about how it becomes a nightmare. And then that's when shit hits the ceiling in this trailer. Like, you're just seeing shit going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Like, man, it's it, this movie is going to be bonkers. Like, and when I use a bonkers, that means that, you know, that's a that's a phrase nobody really uses anymore. So I'm going to go with fucking batshit crazy. How about that? We're going to use batshit crazy because we don't get to just see Wanda, but Professor X. Like, you can't sit there and tell me that's not Professor X in the trailer. You can sit there and tell me that it's not but it is now a lot of people are saying that he's going to be using his little yellow chair the little floating chair that he has in x-men the animated series and i'm all for it bro i am all fucking for it like that is a top 10 best cartoons of all time right there that professor x now the guy that plays professor x his name escapes me all the time every time i talk about him but y'all know who i'm talking about he was in he's played He's been had multiple roles over the years, you know, Star Trek. I know him. I know him as Commander Bullock from American Dad. If y'all didn't know that, yes, he plays Stan's boss in American Dad. Funny as fuck. But so he was saying that he wanted his last role as Professor X to be on Logan because he did an excellent job. But when they told him it's a multiverse, you'll be playing a different Professor X. Oh, yeah, I'll come back. It's pretty much what he said. So he's back. And it looks like they're introducing the Illuminati. Now, it's not the Illuminati, not the real world Illuminati that we know and come to fear. You know, it's not like them. It's pretty much the superhero Illuminati. It's pretty much Black Bolt, Black Panther, Iron Man, Captain America, Dr. Doom, uh, Dr. Strange, Reed Richards. I think the lineup changes every now and then. But those are the main ones that I can remember. And they kind of pretty much protect the multiverse like they make the hard hard decisions and sometimes they can be seen as the villains because in one of the stories they're the reason why hulk was sent into space not in the mcu but if you go watch planet hulk he is that's the reason why hulk is on another planet because hulk was just they just couldn't control him honestly they was all like you know what we can't deal with the hulk no more so we got to do something we can't kill him we can't do any of this shit so how about we knock him out send him to uh, another planet and just call it a day he ends up coming back to earth and ends up fucking some shit up but still though that's what the illuminati is for they they make the hard-hitting decisions they even they make the decisions that even the government don't even know about so it looks like that's what he's been about to be introduced to. Now, I don't know if Doctor Strange is already on the Illuminati. We're not talking about the one that's being in the handcuffs. We're talking about another variant of Doctor Strange on that council. Now, the MCU's version might be different from the comic book version. And from what it looks like, it might be. I don't know yet. Because they saying Baron Mordo might be on that council. And when Baron Mordo showed up, I'm like, so is he the main antagonist? Now... The, the rumor was the main villain was supposed to be Nightmare. And, like, honestly, I wish Disney would get over the whole kid-friendly shit and just give us Mephisto because everybody's been wanting Mephisto since, you know, WandaVision popped up. 
And we all know Mephisto has plays a big, huge role in the WandaVision comic here? book, where he's the reason here? why the kids were even created My in the first place. I'm just world. like, bro, just That's bring us Mephisto. Me. Like, it'll be all right. And Mephisto's pretty much Satan in the Marvel universe. universe. And I'm like, you're already My dealing with magic. Dissolve. And a lot of people see magic as demonic. So y'all might as well go on and use it. Well, but be greater than some people are just, you know, that sensitive when it come down to stuff like that. And they just can't overlook that. But anywho, back to the main topic, though. So Wanda said something in this trailer that kind of had me like, she does have a point. When Dr. Strange fucks with the multiverse, he seems as a hero. No but when she does it, Come on, she seen, like, she's seen as the bad guy. And it's, I guess world, when Wanda. she does it, she's doing it for a good. She claims she's doing Where it for a good you? cause. Because she just wants to live a happy life. She don't want to be a hero no more. She just wanted to live with her two imaginary yeah. kids and her, you know, synthetic, synthesoid husband in peace but people had just had to come fuck it up even though she was keeping people hostage in her little pocket dimension now when dr strange did it some teenage well not teenage some teenage boy with the powers of a spider comes and asks hey can you get people to forget about me so honestly they both kind of go hand in hand they're both pretty much both bad because dr strange really didn't have to do that he just could have just told him like hey you're gonna just have to deal with it you know everybody knows iron man is tony stark so everybody's just got to know that peter parker spider-man just tell them that you helped beat Thanos and maybe that will, you know, calm the noise down. Hopefully it calms the noise down. But we didn't get to see that part. Instead, they messed up the multiverse. Now, Doctor Strange and a new hero who also create who got jumped through the multiverse with her little star power is pretty much trying to save all of reality because they done fucked it up pretty badly. So things are looking pretty good. Look like we got multiple versions of Doctor Strange. We see uh, Captain Carter's shield and the poster, all that stuff. So this is looking like a bomb ass movie. This is looking like it's gonna be really, 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 really good. Now I've seen some people on you know Twitter, you know, guys that hate the superhero movies, talking about some. Oh, how many superhero movies y'all gonna get? Oh, the ruin of cinema. Look, you don't have to fucking watch it, okay? It's not. It's not that big of a deal. I, I get tired of people acting like just because it, they they see people enjoying it, they just gotta step in and just shit on it because you know, it's social media. People do that shit all the time. Now we jump from that to Moon Knight. Moon Knight didn't really show much. It was just pretty much showing us his costume, his weapons. The dude want to be Batman. Even though I seen a lot of people say that. I'm like, eh, to me, he's kind of a little bit better than Batman. But it is what it is. But that comes out next month at the end of next month. And I'm looking forward to it. I honestly am looking forward to this. I like to see. I want to see how his suit works. Like, is it magical? Is it not magical? How the MCU is going to do things. Now we got to jump to DC. In DC, it was only like a minute long. But The Rock looks fucking amazing in his Black Adam suit. Straight up. He fits the fucking role. I don't care what nobody say. You can argue with me all the fucking day, but I'm just going to keep saying he fits the role. He looks like fucking Black Adam. He looks like Black Adam. They couldn't. It, this is amazing. Him. I love Dr. Fate's costume. I love Hawkman's costume. Cyclone, Adam Smasher, all of it. Just chef's kiss. They're giving us heroes that we don't really get to see a lot. Because when you think of DC, you think of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, those guys. But Black Adam, these are names that you really don't see. Adam Smasher? A A Adam Smasher, that is fucking dope to see Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher is pretty much a hero who just gets real big. Uh, if you've seen the Flash TV show, I think either in the second season, the third season, Edge from WWE, he played Adam Smasher. So just seeing this Adam Smasher is just pretty dope. Now, Adam Smasher in the Flash TV show was a bad guy. In this movie, he's a good guy. And it's just a Justice League of America or the Justice Society. I don't know. Now, I thought they was going to give us the Green Lantern, of you know, who was part of the Justice Society. But eh, sadly, we didn't get that that version. So later on down the line, we probably might get another Green Lantern. But we go from that. We get the Flash. And I like the little visors that go down in his helmet. Now, a lot of people are upset about that. But I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make some sense of this. Let's make some sense of this, okay? When you're running real fast or when you get on your motorcycle or you have your windows down in your car and you're just driving real fast and stuff is going to hit you in your eye, like dust, bugs, you name it, some type of debris going to get you in your eye. So, of course, especially with Barry Allen fighting up against villains and, you know, stuff's flying all over the place and stuff. He don't want that stuff caught in his eye. So logic there. At least they added some logic to his character. Uh, they didn't really show much. 
Then we got Aquaman. Aquaman was pretty much dope as well, too. His little black suit. That's a stealth suit. Clearly, it's a stealth suit because I don't see how people could put one on one together. Like, hmm, he's wearing all black. Then maybe he's going like covert or something like stealth or whatever. So this is all going to be amazing. And all four of these movies are coming out this year. I didn't think The Flash was coming out this year. I thought it was coming out next year. They keep like postponing it. So I'm like, finally, The Flash is finally coming out. But I'm more looking forward to Black Adam than anything else now because Dr. Fate, I really want to see what Dr. Fate does in his movie. And will Dr. Play Dr. Fate be replaced by another Dr. Fate? Because if you don't know, there's more than one Dr. Fate. I mean, there's one Dr. Fate with the helmet, but people that wear the helmet, there's more than one because one host dies another one comes that one dies and so on and so forth but what did you guys think about all the think about all the trailers that came out this week uh dr strange is probably one of the best ones i've seen in the past week what do you guys think are you getting tired of superhero movies i'm pretty sure somebody's gonna say they're getting tired of superhero movies but other than that guys i love y'all hope y'all taking care of yourselves peace